This morning in the Rojo <laughs> Kitchen, our buddy, Chef Nick Raybar from Avenue N is here, and we're chuckling already because we're just bantering it up here in the kitchen. We love a good banter. Talking about nothing, Seinfeld related, of course. How are you, sir? I'm wonderful, Mr. Kirby, and you know, we really only have five ingredients to talk about, so we can hit on any subject you want this morning. Let's any subject. Uh, okay, first Seinfeld, then we'll no, get... No, just kidding. Let's talk about it. <laughs> well, let's talk about let's what you talk Bacon talk wrapped jalapenos with pumpkin cream cheese. Looks great, buddy. You know... This is Halloween weekend. What's going on? It's all different, you know. My my prediction is, no matter what happens, there'll be a little food in your life. Yeah, talk about the uh, food. And here. it's something we can all agree on: food. We food. love food. Love it. And I love simplicity. This is five ingredients, not five ingredients plus three things that aren't featured here. Right. And other things you need. Five ingredients. Everyone can get behind five ingredients. So what we're gonna do today is. Pump up, uh, uh, excuse me, bacon wrapped uh, jalapeno peppers Got it. that are maple glazed with a pumpkin cream cheese filling. Now that took a lot to get out because it's a very <laughs> long, it's a very long description, even though it's only a couple of ingredients. So right. today what we're gonna do is take pumpkin puree and mix it with some cream cheese. We're gonna stuff the jalapeno peppers. We're gonna wrap them with bacon and we're gonna slow cook them. Outstanding. We're not even seasoning, no salt, no pepper. Okay, then when they're almost done, we're gonna drizzle a little top tier maple syrup on top. Finish them for another second. The bacon is smoky and fatty and delicious. It's gonna base the jalapenos. Slow roasting cuts the spice and makes it a little sweeter. But no seasoning. But no seasoning. Have you lost your mind? I've lost my <laughs> mind. Well, you know, bacon is cured yeah, and smoked. It has so much flavor and cream cheese is salty and maple is sweet and they're all just gonna work so perfectly together. You know, there's the possibility that you've gone right out of your mind. There's a 100% <laughs> chance of that. 100% chance. But it's great and it's simple and it's a little appetizer for this weekend. I know everybody's gonna love it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, we're all doing our best as we ease into Halloween weekend, like That's you right. said, and uh, we'll talk more about your two locations as Can't the morning wait. rolls on. I know you have a new menu. Oh, we have a new menu, and other things to talk about today. As the I day is young. You know, I've tried to copyright this for you and call it the NU. Oh, I know it's something. You know what? It, it sounds better than it looks. Yes, then, but we're yeah. still in our heads. It, it sounds even better. We're still let's keep it up there. <laughs> still workshopping yeah. it. This is the man Nick Raybar from Avenue N. He's here for the whole morning. How lucky are we? It's quite a venue. You. <laughs> Wow, does it smell good. Bacon wrapped jalapenos with pumpkin cream cheese. Nick Raybar's here, Avenue N. We were in the studio saying, holy moly, does it smell good. You wow. know, about nine years ago, I came on the show and I started cooking some bacon. Yes. And I think it vents throughout the it entire does. place. It does. Because the people were coming out of the woodwork. It's true. Like, what is that smell? Yes. Bacon gets the crowd going. That does. It's bacon a crowd gets pleaser. the crowd. It's a crowd pleaser. It's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and, and a couple of ingredients to go right along with that. Mm -hmm. Jalapenos gets the crowd going. Right. Maple syrup, pumpkin, cream cheese. All of these are very popular. Right. Very popular ingredients. And it's it's when I tell you five ingredients, I mean five ingredients today. Sometimes I say five ingredients and I'm like, but you also need this spice or you need a little oil or you need a little butter or something. Right. You don't need anything but these five ingredients. Okay. So you have a jalapeno pepper. Yep. Very, very typical. So the, the, the trick with these is, is how to stuff them. So I recommend you make a little incision like that and then kind of like a T around the top. And that's going to allow you to break open the pepper calmly. Right. All right? And to be able to put the... And to be able to... So what you're going to do is you're going to cut these seeds and ribs out. Mm -hmm. You're going to take a little of the um, pumpkin puree. Okay. You can buy it or you can make it. Yep. And a little cream cheese and you're going to end up with a little mix. You're going to stuff it. You're going to take... This is where you want... This is what's going on here. You see how the crowd is doing it on? All right. All I hear is a hush. You're the crowd. swallowing, Will. You're I'm, like, the... I'm like, well, I can smell I've it. Never, like, I can see I've it. never seen you. Well, actually, I, can, I did see you. You were fanboying over that TikTok guy the other day. And you, you had the same face I on. the so same face. I'm glad it wasn't just him. I it's know, me, it's too. It's you, too. So you got to have really good bacon. So <laughs> yeah. I have this double-thick North Country Applewood bacon. Right. All right? And it's Applewood smoke. It's so delicious. Okay. And that's what is going on. So then you're going to par cook them 15 minutes or so to soften in the pepper to crisp the bacon. Okay. And then you're going to drizzle some maple syrup on top. Now, jalapeno peppers, and we're going to give these to the last second here, Will. Okay, I know we fine. got about a minute left. Yeah, no, that's fine. Give them a second. Yep. So, jalapeno peppers are spicy, but if you slow cook them, they sweeten up. And okay. then if you stuff it with the cream cheese, um, 
That adds a little bit of like a little, and uh, with the pumpkin, it's a little sweetness there also. Right. The smokiness of the bacon, which is cured, so cured bacon. And has, just it's taking up the seeds, some of the seeds inside. Does that big kind of, time? Kind of helps too. Right? Yeah, you yeah. got to try to get every single one. Okay. Because if you bite the seed, it's it's a <laughs> surprise. It's a little punch right, in the mouth. Right. Let's get these out okay, of here. Well, I'm so impatient, I can't wait another second. Now, could they use another second or two? Maybe. But as you're looking at these peppers Oof, here, look at that. You know, as you're looking at these peppers here, you give them a little poke. Some are softer than others, but they're they're pretty ready. And I'm gonna put them back in in a minute. But basically, the moral of the story is 20, 25 minutes under low heat allows the bacon to cook without. Um, <laughs> it allows. It allows I can hear people in the control room going, "Whoa, yeah. whoa!" <laughs> well, they can smell it and they can see it now too. What we're talking about here: one strip of bacon around each pepper. Right. All right. And if you cook them slow and low. It softens the pepper, mm -hmm. it crisps the bacon, and you don't have cream cheese sort of oozing out. out everywhere, okay. which is really great. So while I'm doing the dishes, I'm going to put them back in. And I do the dishes for any of you chefs that are coming on a road show. <laughs> do your dishes <laughs> afterwards, all right? Nick because Will dishes. will do the dishes. Yeah, yeah, I'll do the dishes. He'll do the dishes. Well, it doesn't matter. But he doesn't want to do the dishes, you, You're going to feed me. I'll do the dishes. Ten years, matter. I do the dishes every time, I don't you do. I, Will? Yes, you do. Every yes, you single do. time. All right, can you just uh, talk about your restaurant? If I must. Is, you, you must. Avenue N, okay, <laughs> in Rumford. We have the outdoor dining. We have Pat patio heaters, right. we're doing indoor diners, indoor dining, very spaced out, okay. very spaced yes. out. We have Providence, same deal, out, outdoor dining with heaters, inside, very spaced out. New menu last week. And it's fantastic. That, I, you have an occasional celebrity yep. sign-in, occasional celebrity sign-in, and, uh, and I love you for that, Will, Thank and you. I love you guys, too. All right, if you want the recipe for this, and you are going to, you can head on over to our website, that's roadshow.com. Now do the dishes. <laughs> yes.